Good afternoon. I wanted to hop on and connect with you guys for um, just a little bit before I pick up my littles. Um, hopefully I am getting to you guys while you're still at work before you get off and you actually have real stuff to do. You know, at work you can sit there and watch me, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, I get, hello, hello, I get lots of questions in my inbox every, um, every single day. And so I thought what I would do is just start taking notes of what questions I get, especially the ones that are repetitive, and talk to you about them. Um, that maybe then you know, I answer some of your questions. Maybe you might have the same question uh, as somebody else. And so um, kind of killing two birds with one stone. So hello, everybody that's on. Thank you so much for joining me. Makes me feel so special. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> one of the biggest things that um, I get asked all the time, and you may, uh, you may have heard me say this if you've if you've been to a show or anything like even just, you know, a class, um, you have heard me talk about this. The biggest question that I get asked all the time is, um, can anybody be a medium? And that's really a two-part question. You have to answer, can anybody be a psychic first um, in order to answer the whole medium thing? So can you be a psychic? Can anybody be one? Heck yes, they totally can. Um, every single one of us, I don't, the, the most skeptical, cynical person out there who doesn't believe in intuition or anything um, that they might consider to be woohoo, they are psychic because all being psychic is, is using your intuition. So, you know, if you have that gut feeling of I shouldn't go here or I shouldn't do this or, uh, you know, I know that my mom's calling me right now and you're usually right, you're just exercising your psychic ability. You're just exercising your intuition. So go you. Um, so that that part of the question is yes, everybody is psychic, okay? Um, the main part that I get asked is everybody a medium? Can anybody, you know, just anybody be a medium? That question, um, it haunts me because I'm very much on the fence about it. I've studied with some amazing mentors and they all have kind of a different view on can anybody be a medium? Are you born a medium? Um, can anybody learn? And my philosophy on this, my take on this is this. I think that being a medium is a natural ability just like being an incredible singer, okay? Um, I feel like you're either born with that beautiful, gorgeous voice, or you're not. And um, so, so it's it's easy for you to to pick up on um, discarnates, or you know it's non-existent. You can't do it. You have no idea how people are doing it um, because that ability is just not there. Um, you can come and sit in my class. You can learn what to look out for. Um, you know, the thing that I always tell my people who tell me that they experience things is this. If you are experiencing signs and symbols and you're hearing things and seeing things from your loved one, that is completely different than being a medium and interpreting messages from the other side. They're not the same thing at all. Um, after death communications happen to everybody. People experience them all the time. That's the beauty in um, forming a, a connection with somebody while they're here on earth with you is that you get to, um, you know, kind of continue to have that, that connection with them. So I feel like you have to be born with the mediumship ability. Now you cannot be a medium without first being psychic. So can you have both? Absolutely, you have to have both. So there's that question in a nutshell. Okay, uh, let's see what's next. I wanna to talk to you guys really quickly about rescheduling um, your appointments. So there, there's a reason why I only do a very small amount of appointments every single day. Uh, 
I realize that getting a reading with me is a complete and total investment. And so I want to give you as much of my energy as I possibly can. Um, being a single mom, I have to, I have to really um, put my energy in, um, you know, I have to make sure that I conserve it and I watch where I use it and different things like that. Um, I don't usually um, do a whole lot of running around or errands. You know, I don't pay bills before work. I don't do any of that. Everything is focused on being calm and using the energy that um, I got from sleeping, you know, from resting and putting that into getting ready to read you. So that's very, very important to me. If you get rescheduled, if I send you a message and I'm like, hey, my energy is low today, or I'm human and, you know, one of my kids is sick or uh, I got to go deal with a family matter, those types of things. There's a couple reasons that that's happening. It's not, I truly, truly believe that it's happening for a reason, okay? So A, take that with a grain of salt and be glad that you didn't just invest in a reading with a medium who was only in it for the money and um, had no intention of truly putting you first, okay? I absolutely love what I do, and I want to do it every single day. So um, having to turn somebody down, I realize most of you have to uh, get off of work to come and get a reading with me because I only read, you know, nine to five hours. So I take into consideration that you um, take off work, you schedule these things in advance. I feel very bad when I have to when I have to cancel, but um, it's I will never put um, you know the integrity of my ability on the line. I will never uh, do anything that I feel like is going to um, you know not basically just not give you the absolute best reading possible. And sometimes that is, hey, I didn't get any sleep last night and I'm exhausted or I'm starting to have a cold. I mean, there's just tons of reasons why I may feel like my energy is being drained or um, I don't feel up to par. You want that honest medium, okay? Um, so I just, I kind of wanted to touch base on that because I think some people get kind of frustrated and I don't cancel very often. It's honestly rare um, but it does happen and I just want you to know that should that happen um, please know that I completely understand everything that you had to do trust me I have the craziest schedule in the world to um, you know move mountains to get in to see me I understand you've waited a long time um, but more importantly I know this is a huge investment and you will want um, you want me to be up to par so just know that if that ever happens, that's the message behind it. Oh, and the other thing is, if that does happen, there's a reason that that's happening. So, okay, maybe you're going to experience something crazy between now and the next time that you and I get together. Uh, maybe something has to happen between now and then that Spirit's going to verify for you. Or maybe you're coming in for a psychic reading and what you are wanting an answer to ends up happening and now you've got a whole nother issue. I mean, there's a ton of reasons why, um, you know, sometimes these things don't work out. And so, um, just be understanding for me. I appreciate it. You know, with, uh, COVID and everything else going on, I take it really serious when we have just the sniffles. So, um, just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay. Are you going to be coming to Kirksville or Moberly in 2020? Uh, I am not. And that's mainly because it's not that I don't want to see you because I do. It's because um, it's because of COVID. But I am still doing some events, which is kind of amazing. I'm just beyond blessed that um, you guys still stick with me and you guys put on that mask and you come in there and and you hang out. I can't. I honestly can't believe it. Um, but I'm very appreciative of it. So with that being said. Uh, I am in working with the Blue Note in Columbia to come back to Columbia in November. So there will be a show uh, in November in Columbia. We're trying to figure that out. Here's the thing, though. Um, there's only 100 people that can come to that. Usually we can get in 250. Um, so same thing with, um, you know, other events. We, we have to limit how many people we can have in the room. So if you're really, really wanting to get into one of these events, um, 
the best thing for you to do is do it, you know, get your ticket early because uh, they're going to sell out and, and then there won't be any room. So there's your forewarning on that. Um, yeah, so we'll do Columbia in November. I've got uh, an October event in Quincy, um, an October event in Kansas City. I go to Kansas City tomorrow. There are still tickets available for Kansas City if you're interested in that. Uh, there aren't very many, but there are some. So you can hop on that if you want. Um, okay, do you do small groups? I get asked that a lot. So first of all, I'm going to tell you that you can find every every one of these answers to the services and what I charge on my website in detail and it tells you exactly how much it costs, how far I'll drive to come to you, all of that. So, you know, if you don't catch it on here or you just want to just, you know, see it in black and white and maybe schedule something, um, go over my website. It's just my name, BrittanyBuckwalter.com and click on the services and then you can scroll down and look at everything that I offer. But to answer that question, yes, I do do small groups. There's a couple different levels of groups. So um, if this is just a family session, say, you know, there's a few of you that want to talk to dad, um, it's 450 for up to six people. And when we do that, it is imperative that the people that we are um, sitting with at, are directly related to the spirit you're wanting to bring through. And here's why. Because if not, not everybody in the room is going to experience a rich um, a rich reading. They're going to, oh, hey, um, you know, our cousin Dina's here and her best friend from high school that passed away came through for 20 minutes of the reading. Um, those types of things. It can be kind of stressful. I don't know these people. I've never seen them. I don't know who's important and who's not. I just know who's louder. Okay, so I'm going to bring in the loud people. Um, and that may happen to be crazy Uncle Bob. And he's coming through for a message for, you know, like I said, your cousin or whatever. So it's just really, really important that you stick with um, strictly family during family readings. Okay. Um, they are 450 for up to six people. It's an hour reading. And I'll drive up to two hours for that. Sorry. Um, and then there's, um, there's uh, under the services tab on there, there's a list that shows you um, how many um, people and like how much it costs and um, how, how much I need to be able to travel this far and stuff like that. So it's all laid out for you. Just go there and you'll, you'll, um, you'll be able to get all your answers straight, straight from there. Um, what are your thoughts? on COVID and the 2020 election. So believe it or not, people actually message me and ask me about that. Um, <laughs> I, there, there is a lot of value in not knowing anything about anything that I read because I'm allowed to be completely guided by my intuition. I know that anything that I get is, is gonna be accurate because I'm not just coming up with this stuff, I'm, I'm getting it from somewhere. Um, when it comes to things like COVID and um, the 2020 election, all these different things, it's very hard for me to make an accurate prediction simply because when I'm on Facebook, I'm constantly seeing different things that are making my ego form an opinion, okay? So, you know, I am not political at all. But I might see something about Biden and that makes me uh, uncomfortable or upset. I might see something about Trump and, um, you know, that makes me uncomfortable or upset. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, who's going to win is, is the, the person that I feel the most comfortable with. No, I, that's not how this works. And so you kind of get in your own way, right? So just remember there's value in not knowing anything about the people that you read. So, you know, I have a lot of friends and family that get frustrated because I won't read them. But to me, um, you know, the evidence is the biggest part of getting a reading. And if I can pull that evidence from information that I already know, um, it's going to be a real issue for me to give that to you and uh, feel like it's valid. So when it comes to big things like that, no, I just stay away from it, and um, I have my own opinions. I have, you know, I have an idea, but um, I keep it to myself because I feel like it's so tainted um, with everything else going on. So, 
Um, let's see. EET. Oh, by the way, today I had a vision about October 13th. I have no idea what's going to happen on October 13th, but keep that in the back of your mind because I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Um, EET is coming up. It's uh, November 14th. And I'm super stoked about it because it's in my hometown and we have not ever been to my hometown. Um, so I'm thrilled about that. It's actually going to be in my studio in Hannibal here. And uh, we have done a lot of crunching and working together to get this uh, six classes into one day and uh, 111 bucks. Okay, that is insane price wise because um, just my tur you know, just my tarot class alone is 60. Um, so y you're really, really benefiting by, um, by doing this. I am going to be teaching um, the tarot class and uh, manifestation class this year. So I'm super stoked about being able to teach something different. Um, I teach manifestation all the time, but I've never done it on the EET tour. So, um, those will be what I am focusing on. Um, if you don't know anything about the EET, um, it is a group that was formed a couple of years ago with me and, uh, a few women that I met, uh, through, you know, coming to my shows and we are now, now they're like my best friends, but we just knew that we were put together to do something. And, uh, that's how the Energy Enlightenment Tour formed. So that is EET. Um, let's see. That is my phone. Um, can, let's see. What do I do if I think I'm a psychic? Okay. This is a good one. Um, I offer what's called a psychic assessment. Okay, it's 280. You come in with me for one hour, and I basically just work with you. I um, try to see if you've got that raw, natural psychic ability, uh, and I tell you if I think that you're a candidate for coming to psychic classes, coming to mediumship classes. Um, you know, basically, before you invest your money in learning how to do this, let's see if you even have, you know, the the strong ability to do it. Um, but I, if you if you think that you already do, come and join a class. Don't waste your 280. Come to a, a psychic class. It's about three hundred dollars, and I uh, spend all day teaching you how to harness that power. Um, you get to, you know, work with other people, read them, and you get to walk away with some confidence. So, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I am gonna go through and see if there are any other questions. And if not, I'm gonna hop off here. You guys are so nice. Deborah. you are so sweet. Gosh. Um, okay. Well, I'm right here. Okay, yeah, when will I, okay. And that's why, Melanie, people keep asking me that about Kirksville because, you know, that was one of the biggest places, that was one of the main places that we went in the beginning. But with COVID, um, you know, we just have to um, we have to be very picky about where we go, and I'm trying to target bigger cities. That way, you can drive. Um, you know, maybe you're 20, 30, 40 minutes from a show, and it's more central to Kingdom City, to Moberly, to you know all of these different places. So that's why I'm doing um, just a few big shows. So, um, like I said, there's like we're only going to sell 100 tickets to. Um, the Blue Note. We're only selling 50 tickets to the Halloween event in Quincy. Um, so yeah, they're, we're only selling 40, 40 or 45 to the Kansas City event. Um, and then I have a, a 20 people or less event coming up in my hometown. Those, it's really beneficial to you guys to come to an event where there's less people because there's more of a chance that you're going to get a reading, right? So um, that's always cool. Hi, Nancy. All right. So, hi, Laura. I am, if nobody else has any other questions, I'm going to hop off here. I think I covered absolutely everything. All righty. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So, I'm going to hop off here and... I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me for the last 20 minutes. It's an honor to work for you. 
and um, a blessing to have your interest and loyalty. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So um, if you end up sending me some messages, just give me some time to get back to you. I promise I will. And I will see Kansas City tomorrow. All right, I'm out. Goodbye.